Hi, this is Chris Hansen, and I am going to share with you something called Math in Color. It is a great way to help kids learn math, and the concepts that we really focus on with Math in Color are multiplication, division, factors, multiples, prime numbers, and everything that goes along with those. So if we look down, you can see that I have two double-sided handouts and I also have the larger images on posters. You'll see multiplication in color, a chart that has nine 1 to 100 charts and the multiples from 2 to 10 color coded, a chart that goes 1 to 100 and also a chart that goes 101 to 200. I'm going to start with the multiplication in color chart because that was the first one that I developed. When I was teaching fifth grade, I noticed that many kids struggled with multiplication. And they also struggled with basically just being able to use the chart. And conceptually, basically multiplication is repeated addition. So you can easily see, we can just count here for the multiples of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's easy enough, and that's something that a child can do on their own. As you get into the more challenging things, such as 7, you can do that as well. We have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, and so on and so forth. Now, what's unique about this is that I put a color code for each number because I noticed that many kids were struggling with using the chart correctly. For example, if we had a problem like 5, times 4, what would happen is the child would take the 5 down and they'd take the 4 over and somehow in the chart they'd get lost and they'd end up with the answer 24, which is obviously not correct. Now with this chart you can see that we have the purple 5. You can see that the problems themselves are actually inside the rectangles, which is very helpful. You can see the 4 right there inside the rectangle. 5 times 4, that's obviously going to be 20. If we bring it over, you can also see the 4 there. So this helps eliminate some of the confusion, and it helps kids be able to actually use the chart effectively. So this was the first thing that I came up with. Now after I came up with this, I decided to use those same color codes on a giant chart that shows the multiples from 2 to 10. So you can easily skip count with this. So if we zoom in on this, this is something a child can do on their own, of course. They can count along doing the 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, so on and so forth. You kind of get the idea there. It's something that they can do um, on their own time. They can do at home or at school. And it starts uh, kids on the right path to understanding multiplication and understanding skip counting. Now, the interesting thing about this chart right here is I used all the color codes to create a composite chart from 1 to 100. And an excellent activity to do with this is to just keep track of the days of school. So if we zoom in here, we're on day 1, we're on day 2, we're on day 3. You can talk about each day of school as the days come about. Now, as I was saying, all of these color codes relate to different uh, functions within the math setup here. So if we see we've got one, two, three, four, so on and so forth, purple shows five, orange shows multiples of six. Let's say we get on, uh, let's get, say we get on about the 23rd day of school. We can start talking about prime numbers, kids like 23, Michael Jordan wore number 23, and it's an interesting number to them. Then we can also look at 24. And you can see that 24 is a multiple of 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. So every day you have an opportunity to keep track of the days of school just by putting a circle around these and also discussing multiplication, okay, and also division and multiples and factors, which is a really great way to introduce these math concepts. Now, I also made a chart that went from 101 to 200. And as you go through, you can kind of see that I took some of the numbers that were composite numbers but were not 
uh, multiples of two, three, four, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. And 143 is obviously a composite number of 11 times 13. That's on the chart. And as you go further into the school year, you can talk about some of these interesting ideas in math. Like if we look at 144, which would put you about in April, and I know some kids may have checked out by then, but if you can get them to hold on, you can really teach them something interesting. And you can show them that every number that's a multiple of 8 is also a multiple of 4 and also a multiple of 2. And every number that's a multiple of 6 is also a multiple of 3. So that's kind of interesting. And obviously there are a lot of useful things with this with more advanced concepts. And I'm sure you can think of things related to um, how middle schoolers would use these with dealing with fractions and uh, other things like that. So this is a, kind of a crash course on how this works. We've got multiplication in color. We've got our charts from 1 to 100 that are each color coded. We have the composite chart of 1 to 100 and we also have the composite chart of 101 to 200. So this is a great supplement to any math program. It's very inexpensive. Right now uh, for the 2010 school year you can get every chart. So you get four of these extremely large 24 inch by 36 inch posters plus 30 of these double-sided handouts for only twenty dollars and you can get these from mathincolor.com again this is an excellent way to take an abstract concept and really give it a concrete visual aid so I really appreciate you listening and watching this and I will try to make a better version of this in the next couple weeks but for right now we're gonna put this up because hey we need to get it done and uh, thanks again for checking it out. I do appreciate it. Feel free to comment. Uh, uh, have, thank you.